Hello, this is Jerry Norton, and I'm doing a deal review for 3112 Celia Avenue in Charlotte, North Carolina. And this is the house right here. It is a 720 square foot, two bedroom, one bath. So very small, and it's only a two bedroom, one bath. Um, but let's go ahead and do this. I am inside Redfin, and what I do is I scroll down on the listing, and I look for this map right here. I click on Map Nearby Homes for Sale, and what it's going to do is it's going to pull up uh, a map view on the left and then the data on the right. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and click on, um, hold on one second, let me resize my screen a little. Uh, that's a little better right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on more filters. I'm going to switch this to sold because I want to see sold homes. I'm going to update this to the last year. And because of this is small, I'm going to put my maximum and the, the most it'll give me is 1,000 square feet or the, the right number because it jumps from 750 to 1,000. So I don't want to see anything bigger than 1,000 on my square footage. And then I'm also going to click on house up here. And bedrooms on maximum, I'm going to put two bedroom because I need to look at two bedrooms. In bath, I could put one. Right now, it's found, uh, I think, five properties, no, two. So then I'm going to apply filters, and again, we're on this street right here on Celia, so it's found these two, but if I zoom out a bit, it found me a handful more. So it looks like I've got seven homes here that it found. Here's a list of those seven. Now what's interesting is, and what I love about Redfin here, is it gives me the data on these properties. So these are all two bedrooms, they're all one baths. Here's the square footages right here. And then here's the price per square foot, and it tells me my average is 66 bucks a square foot. So, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download. These are my comps that I want to use. I don't want to use any other comps. I don't want to go any further out because I'm on this street. So these are all relevant to my neighborhood, right? They're close in proximity. They're a year old, and they're similar because they're under 1,000 square foot, and they're two bedroom, one baths. So I'm going to go ahead and click download all. It's going to give me a CSV file. Here it is. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and delete the, the fields that I don't need. So I'm going to delete those. Um, I know it's Charlotte, North Carolina, and I know the zip codes. So I'm, I'm going to delete those columns. There's my, I don't need the location, so I'm going to delete that column. Right now, I don't need lot size, year built, days on market, so I'm going to delete that column. Price per square foot, I definitely want. And then I'm going to go ahead and delete the rest of these columns just to uh, clean up my spreadsheet. There we go. So that's just the information I'm looking at. Let me open this up a bit bigger. So there we go. There's the addresses for those seven comps. One, two, three, four, five. There's seven of these in here. Price, bedrooms, bath, square foot, price per square foot. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a formula in here, equals... I'm going to start to type the word average, click, it's going to pull up a drop down, I'm going to click on average, and then it's ask, it wants to know the range or the cells, so I'm going to click this one, colon, this one, to give it the range, and I don't need all of those decimal places, so right there, and I'll turn this to currency, so the average of these comps, um, let's go ahead and just make this, and then I'm going to hit Command C, or if you're on a PC, Control C, and then Control V right here. And what it's going to do is it's going to copy that cell. So I'm going to put that, and I'm going to Control C, Control V this. Okay, so now I've got um, all of my data that I want to look at here. So the average of my comps here, sold price is 52. My average square footage of these comps is 861. And the average price per square foot of these is 62. But now what I want to do is I want to go through and I want to get rid of the ones that aren't relevant. So first of all, I'd get rid of this one. It's a thousand square feet. It only sold for 17 bucks a square foot, which is 17,000. That's really low. I don't even need to go look at it to know that it's a distressed comp. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And then I'm left here with six. Uh, my next lowest one is this one for 35. It's only 576 square feet. That's actually too small. We're 720. That's really small. In fact, I can't even believe 
there is such a house that's 576 square feet. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. And you can see here now I've got five comps here. Um, they're all still actually a little bigger than mine other than this one, 702. Here's a good one at 800. But my average of these is 71 bucks a foot. Now our subject property that we're looking at on, uh, what was it, Cessia or Celia is uh, 720 square feet. So if I go here and I put a cell in here and I put 720 square feet and I put equals 720 or that cell times, which is shift eight button, right? That asterisk is the times or multiplication. And then I click this cell, it will give me the total there. So 51408 is what our ARV would be on 720 square feet, 51,408. Um, because our average price per square foot is 71 bucks a foot, and we are only 720 square feet. And that is the average of these two bedroom, one bath homes in that neighborhood. Okay, so that would be the starting point ARV. Um, I've got a budget on this house of 30,000. So if I take our formula, which is ARV times 0.65, less repairs of 30,000, then if I ran this formula, it would be equals this times points, well, I could just put this cell times 0.65. I need to put that in parentheses because it needs to do that formula first, minus this cell equals or enters. My buy price would need to be 34 or uh, $3,415, basically three grand. But um, I, would never, I would never fix and flip a house with an ARV of 51,000. There's just no margin in it, it's way too low of numbers. Um, maybe wholesale, if I got this thing for 3,500 bucks, maybe wholesale it to a landlord or maybe, maybe even rerun the numbers based on a rental and what a, what a buy and hold investor would pay, figure out what their buy price is, Buy it for five or ten thousand less than that number, and try to wholesale it to a buy and hold investor. But at any rate, if you were to comp this, the the point of what I wanted to show you was comping the property to get to ARV, which is fifty one four hundred eight based on these comps. Now the tendency or the mistake that people want to make is, let me go back here to to our is to not to over to not look at these comps and to go look at other comps. So for example, if I zoom out more to go way over here and say, you know what, I like this comp, I'm gonna use this comp. Cause it's it's a still a two bedroom, one bath and it's 813 square feet. But it's on the other side of this freeway, it's way down here and it's not relevant to our market of homes right here. Or in other words, you can't ignore these comps and go hand pick better comps like this one here for 120. Okay. Or let me see if there's any other, still a lot of low ones. Here's one for 107. Okay, so that's what you want to do. You want to say, well, out of all of these comps right here, right here we've got 38 homes showing. Just for fun, our, our average price per square foot is still 64 because there's a, so many low comps. Okay, so that's not how we comp. We can't just go pick two or three or four of our favorites and ignore everything else. Okay, um, all right, so... That's my deal review. Jerry Norton here. Thanks very much.